Hey, Fire TV. Uh, I'm Ian Jones Cordy, creator of OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes on Cartoon Network. Every year, I think I'm like used to coming to Comic Con, uh, and then you just get hit with a wave of genuine fan support, and it's aw it's amazing. It's funny because yeah, we kind of have like our heads down on our desks working so much, and we don't really see like the live reaction from people uh, until we're here. So it's just incredible. OK KO is uh, it's a really special show. It's uh, something that myself and the crew kind of made uh, for ourselves. Like, like it's the kind of stuff we would have liked as kids. Uh, it's uh, one of the things we really found about the show is we're kind of trying to harken back to the feeling of playing an imaginary game in the backyard with your friends. You're all coming up with crazy powers and characters. And you know, the fun thing about that is, you know, kids can, uh, kids can explore a lot of things through that kind of play. And that's kind of where we go at the show as well. One of the things that we really wanted to tackle uh, in the storytelling of the show is, I think a lot of kids, especially young boys, don't really get a, they don't really get any messages that tell them that it's okay to uh, deal with their feelings. And TKO is sort of a story about what happens when, instead of ex expressing those feelings, you, you bottle them up and you try to hide them from people. And it sort of takes on a, you know, KO has a, like a Hulk state called like TKO. And we sort of see that like, you know, repressing those feelings, you know, can lead to some very disastrous things. So the main three characters, um, K.O. Rad and Enid, they're all like sort of different parts of my personality. When I was a little kid, I used to tag along to work with my mom and that's kind of where a lot of K.O.'s story came from. But then when I was older, I worked at a supermarket uh, to you know, to, to fund my anime and video game habit. And that's sort of like where the feeling of like the older teen kids comes from. And so, yeah, I mind those experiences all the time for the show. So on the DVD that, that just came out, there's like a big selection of episodes. Um, it's got, it's got, all of them are just like really incredible. Um, some of like the very first episodes are really good because they kind of set up the world, but then also you start to like meet all the characters and it starts, you know, kind of grounded and then it starts going in really crazy. And so you have like a little kid fighting like a giant robot. I think the main thing is just that, you know, I try to remain uh, a fan of things, like to enjoy stuff. You know, I think so often, uh, especially in, in like geek culture, there's this sort of uh, mentality of, oh, if I can poke all the holes I can in this movie, th uh, th there was a plot hole here and this and this, and then like, suddenly you're like, I'm so much better than this thing because I, I destroyed it, you know? Like I made a takedown on like this kind of thing and they got this wrong and they got this wrong. I feel like it's just, you know, all these pieces of media, they're made by people and everybody's just trying to express themselves. And yes, not everything is perfect, but if you just see that this is like an expression of creativity from a person and you can just sort of like sit in that and enjoy it. The way that I like to create really is just, once you find those people who you trust, and you set them free to, to do stuff with the thing you created. It's almost like a creativity multiplier. You know, you come up with something and then someone sees it and then they're instantly like, oh, that gives me an idea. And I think part of the process is seeing what someone came up with off of your idea. And instead of, you, as a person who creates something, you have this gut reaction of like, oh, but that's not my thing. That's not the way that I want it, you know? I think part of it is seeing the things other people do and like honing that gag reflex so you can be like, wait a minute, if this person saw this some way, there's something there that they're seeing that maybe I didn't see. 
Hey, thanks so much for having me. I'm Ian Jones Cordy. Uh, OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes, it's on DVD now, but it's also on the Cartoon Network app on Fire TV. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.